And then in other news, very sad news, um, there's more on the BJ Penn controversy. And I don't want to really get into it too much. We've heard allegations of him doing this before, getting in fights at bars with neighbors and all this stuff and um, domestic battery allegations and stuff. And in this, there's a TMZ video. There's a video that TMZ obtained where uh, BJ's fighting in a bar and gets knocked clean down by some guy that he's fighting with and looked like he got knocked out, um, head hit the semen, everything. And he's on the longest losing streak of in UFC history. Almost has a 500 record at this point. This is a guy who at one point was considered maybe the pound-for-pound pound best fighter on the planet and has completely tarnished his legacy. He's getting in trouble outside the cage. He's clearly not mentally stable. And the UFC at this point is approving about between him and longtime rival Nick Lentz that that's going to happen before they cut the cord on BJ Penn, which I think is ridiculous. And the only thing I really have to say about this, because we've been through this so much with BJ Penn and his outside the cage antics and where he's at at this point in his career, we all know. Anybody who's been following MMA for the past few years knows and understands the trouble that is BJ Penn right now. I I, th- I think that we're gonna have to have, have a talk on the CRP about this soon. About the, there's got to be some culpa- culpability um, with sanctions and promoters who are gonna endorse this, who are gonna allow this to con- continue. Um, I think it's exploitive, uh, and I'm not even. I don't even really come from that persuasion to look at just exploit exploitation of voluntary labor. But when it comes to this, there's no reason. There's no there's absolutely nothing to gain from throwing BJ Penn on a card right now. It's basically feeding him to the lions at this point. He's he's not mentally stable, he's not emotionally stable, and he's clearly not he's just not even a shell. I mean, he is a He's nothing compared to the fighter that he once was. So I think that there needs to be some kind of um, responsibility laid. Maybe not so much on the promoters who are just trying to make the money, but the sanctions. There's no reason that they should be approving and in, in rubber stamping in their their seal of approval on this bout. So um, I hope BJ finds the help that he, that he needs. I hope that he... Um, you know, gets gets whatever kind of counseling he needs to improve himself spiritually and emotionally and mentally and move on and straighten up his life because he's clearly on the wrong path, the wrong trajectory at this stage in his career. And it's just very disheartening to see because I was a big fan of BJ Penn growing up. And, um, yeah, it's... It's just, you can just add him to the line of people that of athletes and entertainers and all this stuff that are just self destructing in their personal life. Stay tuned to the CRP. We'll talk more about these issues coming up. And uh, just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you have not yet. Talk to you next time.